Okay, great. And, uh, okay, usually what I do is just go into the apartment. I'll just do like a, he goes into a pattern. What I do is like I check the bed first, check the walls. I'll put him on the bed also, put him on the couch. Um, and he just uses his nose to, <laughs> to find the bed bugs. He'll stick his nose into the couch. Okay. I guess sometimes I got to tell him where to search. That's just the way they are. It's, it's just like searching for narcotics and bombs, except that it's a lot harder because the scent cone is a lot smaller. So you got to get him closer to the source of the, uh, of the, uh, of the odor, in the case of the bed bug. Usually he's supposed to smell it and sit, but he's gotten a little a little feisty lately, and when he gets when he gets really strong, he tends to try to pour at it. He'll slap it a few times, and then he'll sit down. Okay, the stronger it is, I notice the more he slaps. But he gives a uh, he'll give different indications to me, and that takes time. You know, it takes about a year to be to learn how to work with your dog, no matter what kind of dog it is that you're running. So I heard, I understood the phrasing right. You said it's the scent cone. Yeah, well, the scent cone is a uh, usually I learned this from narcotics that the. Uh, there's the point of the source, and then the, mm -hmm. the scent will come out like really wide. With narcotics, it's like kind of big. So when the dog, like my lab, when he would come into a room, if there was especially like marijuana, which is a mm -hmm. very strong scent, he would walk into a room. My lab would know exactly where it was at. Mm -hmm. He'll go straight for it, but it's a big scent cone. The bed bugs, the scent cone goes from this to practically nothing. So it's really small. So okay. unless the apartment is like really infested, which then you won't need the dog because you should be able to see him. Mm -hmm. When he walks into the apartment that's really infested, he gets confused because there's so much. And you can tell by the way his body reacts. But in a room like this, where we should just assume there was like one or two bed bugs in there, you'd have to get him close, which is the reason why this, the, the search is a lot more detailed. Mm -hmm. You have to really get him checked everything, make sure he checks the walls, the beds. He has to look at everything. If he doesn't, there's a chance that he could miss. So you have this. Also, a lot to do with the handler, also, and that's what these guys are good for, because they can smell it where nobody else can.